I'm going to continue to read this because I had something else planned today that I was going to go into, but the Spirit had me go way this way because, you know, you had guys come up and ask questions. You know, that other guy could have been an Edomite. I ain't get around to it. But, you know, he asked about weed and stuff, man. Look, man. Man, look here, man. That's a heathen custom, man. Smoke it. Bottom line. All right, this is uh, back in uh, 1 Maccabees, uh, chapter chapter 1, verse 14. Yeah. Whereupon thy built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen. Yeah, so you have the, the so-called Haitian Jamaican and the uh, so-called African American following the custom of the heathen, man. Exercising, man. Doing, uh, participating in them gyms naked. Lifting weights naked in a in the Olympic Games naked. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, verse 15. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant. And forsook what? The holy covenant. The separate covenant. They forsook it, man. Same way they have done today. They forsook the covenant. Go ahead. And joined themselves to the heathen. These Negro Latinos and they well, he, back then it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They joined themselves to the heathens, man. Okay? And on this side, all the tribes have joined themselves to the heathens, John. man. John. Every last one of them, man. John. They with the heathens now. Okay? Go ahead. And were sold to do mischief. And were sold to do mischief. Okay? What verse is that? Verse I jumped down to. Uh, Yeah, 41. All right, this is our first Maccabees chapter 1, verse 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom mm -hmm. that all should be one people. See, that's why they're going into that new world order. order. Nimrod tried to do it, and the scripture that they use dealing with the new world order in the New Testament is John 3.16. Because they say, who the world is recall Jesus die for everybody. Good, good. See, so they try to use that scripture as a new world order scripture, but they don't understand it, man. Well, everybody gonna come together. That's a lie. The Heavenly Father was never in agreement with that. The Heavenly Father and His Son are separatists, man. Go ahead. Verse 42, and everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agreed according to the commandments of the king. Now, who told them to do that? Not the Heavenly Father and His Son, because the Heavenly Father said, look, if you leave my statute law of commandments, you don't do what I say to all these curses don't fall upon you. See? He read that in Deuteronomy what? 28. So Jake didn't even care. Jake just wanted to be like the heathen so bad. And they say, look, we'll just deal with the curses. They get destroyed, right? Amen. Go ahead. So verse 43. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrifice unto idols and profane the Sabbath. See? The Sabbath was what? Profane. So did they did they become like the heathens? Yeah. I'm finna show you. The Sabbath was profane. They forsook the Holy Covenant. Right? So give me Hebrews 12 and 16. Hebrews 12 and 16. Hebrews 12 and 16. It's okay, bro. We got here. Hebrews 12 and 16. It said they profaned the Sabbath, right? And they became like the heathens, right? Now check this out. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. So who is profane? Who is known as profane in the scripture? Esau. So 
Did the Israelites profane the Sabbath? And who told them to do that? Esau. <laughs> See? Because Antiochus was what? An Edomite. So the scriptures say, if any profane person of Esau, so looking at that, profane means unholy and outside of the temple. So looking at the Maccabees, how they profane the Sabbath, they were doing things unholy and outside of the temple. But who did Esau use to influence Jacob to be like that? His, his, Jacob, uh, the Israelite, the leader. Yeah. So you had the Israelite leader profane, and then you had the other Israelites who had the influence. You had the Israelites who had the influence on the other Israelites to be profane too. So who were they becoming like? Esau. Yeah. Same yeah. way they are today. Yeah. Yeah. Read that again, bro. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, mm -hmm. who for one mor morsel of meat sold his birthright. It said, lest there be any profane person as Esau. So, when these Negro Latinos and Native Americans come up here and say, God love everybody. They got that New World Order spirit on them and they try to sell their birthright like Esau. Gun. Gun. See? They're profane, man. Esau got that influence on them. So, like I said, when they come up here on us and they talk about John 3.16, God love the world, the whole world, right? And they telling us we wrong. We know they profane just like Esau, man. They trying to bring them into the covenant, man. And Jake is, is trying to get rid of his birthrights, man. He's looking at his birthrights as if it's nothing, like Esau. Gun, gun, gun. See, that's that influence, man. See how the, see how the history and the prophecy link up when gun. you understand, man? Gun, gun. So they profaned the Sabbath back then, man. Right? So they became like Esau. Gun. <laughs> right. Gun. Go ahead. They just like that today, man. We can see you people, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It's verse 17. For ye know how that after, afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. So Esau know he ain't got no repentance. The elites know. But guess what's going to happen two thirds since they like, they got the mind state of Esau and they want to give away their birthright. The Most High going to reject their ass and burn them right along with Esau. See that? Because they profane. Gun. Gun. What you want me to do? Gun. They don't want to listen. Gun. They stop their ear. Gun. Gun. They say, we don't know what we're talking about. They're going to pray for us. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, man. So drop that and go back to uh, Maccabee. Read that one more time. How right, they profane the Sabbath. All right, this is uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 43. It says, yeah, many also of the Israelites considered, considered, consented, consented to his religion mm -hmm. and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. See? Go ahead. It says, for the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. The strange laws laws of the land man so those laws that was given to them was not holy and was of the covenant they were strange they were foreign and was israel supposed to be participating in that hell no nah. but they was doing it so by them doing it the curses fell upon them same way today and give me uh are we gonna that's it on that that particular verse uh we're gonna jump and give me second maccabees 6 and uh, 2nd Maccabees 6 and 6. Alright, this is 2nd uh, Maccabees chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts feast or to profess. They weren't, keep, they weren't even keeping the Passover. See? 
They left all that, all, off of that. The Feast of Tabernacle, Purim, man. The Day of Atonement, man. Blowing the memorial, blowing the trumpets. They left off, man. See that? Go ahead. It says, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. There you go. They became what? Profane, man. They became like Esau. Go ahead. So verse 7. And in that, and in the day of the king's birth, every month they were brought by bitter con constraints. constraints. So that was celebrating his what? Birthday. birthday. See that? That's a heathen custom. So yeah, Israelites cele celebrating birthdays, man. See that? Go ahead. To eat of the sacrifices and win the feast of Bacchus. Bacchus. What Bacchus is, the feast of Bacchus, is to give you a, a, a visual in like what they have in New Orleans, Mardi Gras. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, that's the feast of Bacchus, like Mardi Gras. Go ahead. Was kept, the Jews were. This is a uh, Second Maccabees chapter six verse seven, and in that and in the day of the king's birth, every month they were brought by bitter constraints to eat of the sacrifices, and when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were. So guess what they were doing? They was eating the sacrifices that was offered up to idols, man. Yeah, that's what they was doing, man. Jake was going off, man. Go ahead. Yep. It says the Jews were compelled to go in. Procession. Procession to Barca's carrying ivy. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 8. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of. Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Ptolemy was uh, one of uh, Alexander's generals, and he was ruling down there in Egypt. Okay? Go ahead. Against the Jews, that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. See? So you had Israelites that was in, that Ptolemy took down to Egypt. Okay? You had them down there uh, forsaking the covenant and eating food that was offered up to idols. That would be in, that would be in uh, 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 separate from the covenant of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. They became profane. Go ahead. It says verse nine, and, and and whoso would not confirm themselves to the manner of the Gentiles. Uh oh. So read that slow again. This is uh, 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 9. And whoso would not confirm themselves to the manner of the Gentiles. So that's why we always tell you do two different kinds of Gentiles, okay? You got the actual heathens, and you got an Israelite who take on the customs of the other nations, and he becomes a Gentile. So when you read in the New Testament, when it's saying the Gentile is going to be saved, and there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek, that was the Israelites. See? Go ahead. It says, uh, should be put to death. See? So if you were saying that you were the Jew, instead of saying, if you were saying you were the Jew, meaning Judah, Benjamin, and Levi at that time, okay? If you were saying you were the Jew, you'd be put to death. You had to call yourself a Greek or you had to follow the, the, the Gentile custom, which are heathen custom. See? So that's the history right there. So you had Israelites forsaking the covenant and learning, uh, and uh, following the strange customs of the heathens, and they became Greeks, and they became Gentiles, man. So when you read in the New Testament, when they said there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek, that's the same people. It just, the Israelites have they, they, they have taken on the Greek custom and their parents have been teaching them, teaching them, teaching them, teaching them the Greek custom. And when Paul or the other disciples will come along and tell them, look, you are Israelite, this, 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 they'll see it and they'll say, salvation is for me. 
they'll be like, yeah. Okay? Yeah. But they was Israelite. They lied and went back yeah. to an Israelite. Yeah. Okay? They weren't going to no actual heathen. Same with a Gentile. The Gentile, uh, Paul would go to them and break it down to them, and they would see the truth because their lineage went back to Israel. Yeah. Okay? They would get an understanding and say, oh, salvation for me, but an actual heathen, an actual Greek, meaning uh, Japhet, Going back to Japheth, right. when you read Genesis, the uh, the tenth chapter in the second verse, when you look up the word Javon, salvation wasn't for them. Salvation wasn't for Esau. We just read it in uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. Come, come, come. See? Salvation wasn't for them. But the salvation was for what? The Israelites come. who became Gentiles and who became Greeks. So read that one more time again. This is uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 6 verse 9. And whoso would not confirm themselves to the manner of the Gentiles should be put to death. See, that was the Israelite. Go ahead. Then might a man, then might a man have seen the present mercy. See? So misery. Yeah, misery. So read it one more time again. Okay, so I catch it. This is a uh, second Maccabees chapter six, verse nine. And whoso would not confirm themselves to the manner of the Gentile should be put to death. Yep. Then might a man have seen the present mi misery. misery. Yeah. So if you didn't follow the custom of the heathens, you were put to death, man. Okay? So that's it on that. So you got anything else? No, no. no. All right. So with that, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha Dash, and double unto the other apostle GMS who rule well. Salute you, brothers, pushing his word and truth is the strength of power Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So with that, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, and Mawafla two thirds. Shalom. Stay strong and search the scriptures.